Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nick here and welcome to this Aimless Wanderings vlog on 5 credits a month which is the 8th episode in uh, Darker Paths, uh, the Pompous Doctor Wave 3. This story sees the Doctor, Tim and Ren going to a planet called Debitron which is supposedly the poorest planet in the universe but in actual fact it's the richest as they advertise that they are a poor planet and they're asking people to donate five credits a month to them so they get millions of donations and so they end, all end up super rich according at one point I think to uh, I think it was to Arnold or Harold they said that they had I think it was Harold they said 7.7 .7 billion no sorry 7 billion billion uh, credits they had so they're rich that's beyond belief. So when the Doctor, Tim and Ren arrive to have a look, try to do some good, they don't need to do anything, <laughs> they're super rich. So instead they go and have a look at the transmitter that's transmitting all the broadcasts, uh, or adverts as the Doctor say, to everyone to get their money. It's there that the Doctor reveals that they are from other worlds, but he can f uh, make the transmitted broadcast not only all of space, but all of time as well. And so he does that, except he doesn't. He actually sets us up to destroy the transmitter. And so he and his companions watch the destruction of Debatron. And it's here that we see the Doctor has completely changed. Now, if we go back to the last story, it's the storyteller. The Doctor was at, uh, when he was there on Credit, uh, Craterlon, he was at, that was probably his last uh, good deed before... Uh, he became a bit evil, in a way. Um, the doc, uh, the doctor overthrew a kind of corrupt government and saved the planet. Whilst here, this is definite. This is the, uh, this is the pompous doctor's worst act at this point. This is definitely the moment where he's turned, uh, in Star Wars turn terms, he's turned to the dark side. But there's still a bit of light in him. It's going to be next story that we're going to see him completely turn. Uh, more for, because of him succeeding to be alive rather than anything else. So, here, uh, the Doctor's basically blown up the planet because they're all greedy uh, dicks. Um, even Ren says there's nothing worse than them. What they're doing is horrible. Of course, she didn't realise the Doctor was planning to blow them up, so she might actually change that statement. Um, the and it's really int intriguing and entertaining to see this story play out. It's not terribly long. I think this is one of the shorter ones in this wave. Uh, wave. And it's just, it goes in, explains stuff. They kind of talk a bit. And you see some of the stuff, well, hear some of the stuff going on. And then we get to the Doctor setting it up to blow. Hearing Arnold and Harold discuss about Creditron, sorry, Debitron, is really interesting and really well. I think Matt Beale was it? Who did Arnold? Yeah, Matt Beald, uh, Beal and Chris Thompson. They do really great jobs uh, as Arnold and Harold, respectively. And they do really great. Um, the bit at the start with the actress and the director, they, that was great. As we see one of the adverts. And then we see that it was being filmed. And already from that bit, you can tell that not everything is quite as it seems. And... I also like the actress going from really calm, sweet uh, person on the uh, ad in the adverts to once they're finished, she's a she wants her money. <laughs> Slightly snappy. <laughs> so, yeah, it's great, and I think the sound design is great as well. It does a really good job. There wasn't as much sound design as the la in the last story, mostly because it was narrated. But even other stories are the bit of a sound design. I guess it was because it was a storyteller point of view, in a way. This one's gone back to basics and it's uh, greatly executed and it's really amazingly done. And the ending ties into the next story really well. So overall, five credits a month is really great, really entertaining. It's got some great moments. The acting is brilliant. So I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Um, I think it is still my favourite from Wave 3, even with the appalling act at the end, but I think that's 
in terms of story for this one as well as also in the next two part uh, two episodes and also in War of the Doctors and uh, pompous stories coming leading up to uh, uh, well stories with the pompous doctor leading up to the pompous redemption and possibly further we'll see how it goes um just it's just such a big impactful moment darker past really has gone darker and we haven't even got to the last two episodes yet so i have to commend this so that's uh, five credits a month. Next time we'll be looking at Martin's Last Bark, part one. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.